Wireless Manager, a powerful, easy-to-use software tool, allows users to create a device list, coordinate frequencies, and monitor Audio Technica wireless equipment. For this example, a device list created in the previous video will be imported. Select File, Import Device List. Choose Software Exclude Network Settings to use the settings from the device list. Clicking OK in the Sync Devices confirmation pushes the settings to the network devices. The Frequency Coordination tab is used to build a frequency plan based on wireless equipment used, local TV, and other sources of interference. The software calculates the best frequency plan, and the results can be deployed to AT network devices or manually entered for other equipment. The graph display represents the RF spectrum, ranging from 150 to 2000 MHz. The graph display supports enhanced mouse and multi-touch functions. Use the mouse wheel or multi-touch on a trackpad to quickly zoom in or out. Click anywhere in the graph display and drag to scroll. Expand the display vertically by holding shift while using the mouse wheel. Items from the list appear as visual overlays in the graph display. In the center are workflow buttons for creating a frequency plan along with tags carried over from the device list. The channels list shows devices being considered in the coordination. Tags can be used to sort the devices. Clicking import opens a list of all wireless devices in the device list. Select the items to be included in this coordination and click add. The devices populate the channels list and appear as purple bands in the graph display. Clicking the drop-down in the model band overlay shows each model and its frequency band. These can be color-coded by clicking the box next to the frequency and choosing a color for the label. Tags filter the items shown in the channels list. Channels can also be sorted in ascending or descending order by model name, frequency, and channel name. The channel list includes some additional fields relating to the frequency coordination process. TX power is selectable based on the pre-configured transmitter power levels in the device profile. However, they do not affect the frequency coordination outcome. Stability changes the separation between a carrier frequency and an interfering source. More robust prioritizes system stability by spacing frequencies further apart. More channels prioritizes the number of simultaneous systems by spacing frequencies closer together. Priority is used to designate the order in which channels will be calculated. For example, a lead vocal would have priority over a background vocal. Channels can be given a low, middle, or high priority. TV Channel Settings opens the TV Channel Information Database. This database shows active TV transmitters for geographical locations. Selecting the area, country, state, and city shows a list of active TV channels. Alternatively, the active TV channels can be customized outside the preloaded database using third-party information. In some major metro areas, the FCC has set aside certain TV channels to be used for land mobile radios by local authorities. Refer to www.fcc.gov for updates specific to the event location. In the TV channel list, select these channels. Clicking Apply adds the selected TV channels to the graph display as areas to be avoided in the frequency plan. While the TV channel database is useful for off-site planning, it is always recommended to perform a frequency scan at the event location. Exclusions represented by orange bands in the graph display mark areas of the spectrum to be avoided during the frequency calculations. Exclusions can be created for a single frequency or a range. In this example, the community center located next door has a wireless microphone used in their auditorium. Add an exclusion named Community Center Mic. Under Type, select Single, and under Start, enter its frequency. If the manufacturer and model are known, they can be entered in the Model Profile section. Use Notes to enter information about the exclusion. Add other exclusions or click Apply to exit. Inclusions, represented by green bands in the graph display, are portions of the spectrum where specific devices should be located. One example is to separate IEM systems from wireless microphones, helping to minimize interaction between them. Another might be to group together wireless mics associated with the stage. For this example, make an inclusion group for the main stage wireless mics, along with another inclusion group for the IEMs. Create the inclusion named IEMs. Select Range for Type and enter the IEM's frequency range. Click the green plus button and create the inclusion for the main stage wireless mics. Add additional inclusions or click Apply to exit.
in the Channels window, assign devices to their respective inclusion group. Selecting tags can help locate the desired items. Wireless Manager enables users to scan the spectrum using one or more networked AT wireless receivers. Click RF Scan and select RX to choose one or more receivers for the scan. Click Start to begin the scan process. Receivers being used for the scan show busy on their front panel display and mute their audio output. Adjust the threshold bar up or down depending on the results. Adjusting it upwards makes more frequencies available by including additional spectrum which may increase the chance for interference. Adjusting it downwards reduces the number of available frequencies by excluding spectrum which can increase system stability. If desired, the scan results can be exported as data for later recall. Alternatively, third-party scan data in CSV format can be imported. Open the Frequency Planning window and click Calculate to begin the coordination process. When complete, a list of devices with their assigned frequencies appears. Clicking Apply sends the coordination results to the Frequency Coordination window. If desired, at the prompt, save the coordination results as a history file for later recall. Coordinated frequencies appear as green lines in the graph display, with flags identifying their respective channel name. Placing the mouse cursor on a line or flag identifies its frequency. Once a frequency plan is calculated, wireless channels can be locked. Click the padlock icon to lock a channel. Click Deploy to push the calculated frequencies to connected AT devices. Green indicators in the channels list verify frequencies were successfully deployed. Once deployed, simply sync the transmitters to their appropriate receiver. For non-networked AT and other wireless devices, create a channel list report for manually entering the correct frequencies. The next video in this series shows how the Monitor tab can be used to monitor AT networked wireless devices. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.